is like the God of Koza. Who writes the heavens to help us. Thank you for being our ever-present help. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because this is not a mortuary but a sanctuary. Can somebody help me celebrate the King of Kings? If you know you didn't come to bury anybody but to resurrect yourself this morning, can you make a loud shout to the Lord? Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Who is like the God of Koza? Who rides over the heavens to help me? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Isaiah 29, from verse 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you alive this morning? I will be your enemy surrounding Jerusalem and attacking its wall. I will build siege towers and de- verse 4. Then, then deep from the earth you will speak. From low in the dust your words will come. Your w- words will whisper. From verse 5. Hallelujah. But suddenly, hallelujah, and this is our word this morning, but suddenly, your ruthless enemies will be crushed like the finest of dust. Your many attackers, Koza, will be driven away like sharp before the wind. Suddenly, in an instant, say I decree and declare this morning that in the name of Jesus, every enemy of my destiny, let them be crushed like the finest of dust. I can't feel your voice this morning. Can you raise it? Every enemy of my destiny, let them be crushed like the finest of dust. Your many attackers will be driven away like sharp before the wind. Suddenly in an instant, I decree that poverty is crushed in my life like the finest of dust. And my many attackers, the attackers of my health will be driven away like sharp before the wind. Suddenly in an instant, can you open your mouth this morning and issue the decrees of the Lord? Every attacker of my life, every attacker of my children, every attacker of my family, every attacker of Koza, let them be driven away like sharp before the wind in the name of Jesus. Suddenly in this instance, in the name of Jesus. You will look for sickness and not find it in the name of Jesus. from verse 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you alive this morning? Say, I'm alive and well. I'm I'm doing so well, I can't even believe it. They said the mountains before you will will move and the hills will disappear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, even then, my faithful love for you will remain. My covenant of blessing will never be broken. I can take this to the bank. God says his covenant of blessing. So because somebody is wondering that that blessing that they said is upon me is not evident. But they said, God said that God, that covenant can never be broken. I don't know what you have been through. I don't know what you are going through. God said that covenant is working. It cannot be broken. Hallelujah. Say God's covenant over my life. His covenant of blessing. 
broken. It will never ever be broken. It's working for me. I can't hear your voice. Can you enforce it? It's working, it's working, it's working. It was for the Lord who has mercy on you. Because of mercy and favor, the, cup, the blessing of the Lord will work for me. and it will be established. All I need is this word. They said the covenant of blessing over your life, it will never ever, forever. Not because you are good, but because of mercy. Because of mercy. Hallelujah. Every moment God remembers mercy over you. Therefore, we decree and declare this morning that the covenant of God's blessing, it will be working for you effectively. It will work for you effectively. Because of mercy. Say because of mercy. Because of what Jesus did on the cross. And because he's sitting, making his accession for me. Because of the shed blood of the, of the lamb. I will enjoy the blessing of God over my life. The covenant of blessing will never be broken. In Jesus' name we are praying. Verse 11, you can take this to the bank. All storm battered city, trouble and desolate. You have the covenant at work in you, but you can still be storm battered. I will rebuild you with precious jewels. Because of covenant. And me, I don't care what is torn down. I don't care what is done working. I don't care how long you have been praying. This morning, receive a rebuilding. God says, I don't build with block. I don't build with block. I don't build with, build with cement. I don't build with what human beings build, it's not a natural thing. I build with precious jewels. When they look at that same light that was torn, stormy, that same light that was battered, they will only see beauty. Therefore, this morning we see beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. build your walls and we make your foundations from lapis lazuli. It's rare. Rare gems. That same life. They said nothing good will come out of you. But in the name of Jesus, receive a change of story. Receive a fresh revelation. Fresh oil. Verse 12. Hallelujah. I will make your towers of sparkling rubies. These things are not cheap. You need to be declaring some things over your life every day. I will make your towers of sparkling rubies. That same life that was battered, storm battered, troubled, 
But God says your story has changed. Your gates of shining gems and your walls of precious stones. Your gates of shining gems, shining gems. It's not going to be normal. That's why I can't afford to compare myself with anybody. My gates will be of shining gems and my walls of precious stones. Verse 13. I will teach all your children. After I have given you prosperity, I now begin to teach all your children and they will enjoy great peace. Can I receive an amen this morning? You will be secure under a government that is just and fair. Your enemies will stay far away. Your enemies of poverty. Say I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, I receive prosperity in the midst of famine. In the name of Jesus, every enemy of my health, every enemy of my increase, every enemy of my prosperity, let them stay far away. Not enough will not come near me. Poverty, you cannot come close. In the name of Jesus, disaster, move away. Shut up, stay away from me and my household. Can I see, hear your tongues over that word? Shut up, in Jesus' name. Verse 15, if any nation comes to fight you, it is not because God sends them. Whoever attacks you will go down in defeat. Say they are going down in defeat. Verse 16, I have created a blacksmith who finds the coals beneath the forge and makes the weapons of destruction. God says, I have created the armies that destroy, but they were not made for you. But in this day, this is the coming day. No weapon. No weapon. Tag against you. Now, you know what happened? The weapon was not for you, but they turned it against you. They turned it towards you. But they said with your voice, you will silence everyone. Hey, wait, do you have a voice this morning? Say, I silence. Are you still looking? It is with your voice. You raise it to silence everything that tries to accuse you. wondering whether or not what am I supposed to be doing? I don't even know what to do. I don't know how these things are just going. Open your mouth and silence every accuser. Let me tell you something. They said you will silence every voice raised up against you. You will silence them with your voice. Poverty has a voice. But you have a greater voice. Hallelujah. We didn't get to this verse 17 by happenstance or start. It wasn't a mistake. God says it's time to raise your voice. Because there is power in that voice. If the enemy can be raising and turning his weapon towards you, that was not meant for you. It was not meant for you. The battle you are facing was not meant for you. But since they've turned it your way, you cannot keep quiet. Shut up. The way we fight in the kingdom is not through guns and swords. We use our voice. They said this benefit of you 
raising your voice against the enemy is a benefit that should be enjoyed by the servants of the Lord, those who serve God. Are you serving God this morning? Say, I will raise my voice. I will not be quiet. In the name of Jesus. And this morning I decree and declare that every voice, every contrary voice that is raised against me, I silence you. In the name of Jesus. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 10. The enemy does not have any new strategy. He looks at what God has given his children and he uses it against us. The same voice that he gave you, he said, ah, so this is the trick. It's a spiritual principle that can never be broken. The same strategy that God gives his children, the devil uses it against them. No new idea. No new thing he wants to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's see verse 3. Hallelujah. He says we are human, but we don't wage war, war as humans do. We use what? God's mighty weapons. Don't use man's mighty weapons. Don't use man's, don't use social media's weapon. Don't use your family weapon. Not worldly weapons. To knock down. So when I raise my voice, I knock things down. Kali Agabaha. To knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. Poverty is arguing with you that you're not supposed to be rich. Sickness is arguing with you that you're not supposed to be strong. But in the name of Jesus, we silence them. Say, I silence, begin to make mention. Raise your voice and make mention of the things that are silencing you. Shut up. We use, you can decide to have God's mighty weapon and not use it. And it's not a small weapon, it's mighty. It's mighty. It's mighty. It's mighty. That's what the Bible The Bible said, it's mighty. When I raise my voice against the enemy, that's a mighty weapon. It's more than a mighty army, it's a mighty weapon. Hallelujah. Say, I'm going to raise my voice in this season like never before. In the name of Jesus. Joshua chapter 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at what Joshua did. Verse 6. It's a mighty weapon when you use your voice and you speak the word of the Lord into your situation. It's not a worldly weapon. Then the men of Gibeon quickly sent messengers to Joshua at his camp in Gilgal. Don't abandon your servants now, they pleaded. Come at once, save us, help us. For all the Amorite kings who live in the hill country have joined forces to attack us. So Joshua and his entire army, including his best warriors, left Gilgal and set out for Gibeon. Do not be afraid of them, the Lord said to Joshua. So the first thing before you start speaking, don't be afraid. For before you started speaking, God has already given the victory over to you. You just need to enforce it with your voice. And say what God said, and the covenant of blessing that can never be broken, it will never, this, I'm going to enforce it. It will be effective. It will work. I will not silently agree with it. It will not work. Oh. You have to boldly agree with it with your voice. Not a single one of them will be able to stand up to you. So Joshua traveled all night from Gilgal and took the Amorite. After that word, he moved. Took the Amorite armies by surprise. And the Lord threw them into a panic. And the Israelites slaughtered great numbers of them at Gibeon. Then the Israelites chased the enemies, the enemies along the road to Beth Horon. 
killing them all along the way to Aziha and Makeda. As the Amorites retreated down the road from Beth Horon, the Lord destroyed them with a terrible hailstone from heaven. That continued until they reached Azika. But the job was not done. The hail killed more of the enemy than the Israelites killed with the sword. Because a man partnered with God. In this season, let heaven, let them fight your battles for you. Verse 12. On the day the Lord gave Israelite victory over the Amorites, Joshua now declared, he opened his mouth to the Lord in front of all the people. He said, let the sun stand still because heaven was still fighting. This battle is not over. Sun, you cannot go down. Hey. hey. Sun, you, it's not time for you to go to bed. It was God that set the sun in place. But a man said, it's not time because there's a battle going on. Are you here this morning? I don't know what's going on. My life is just going towards Guagualada. Bring it back. Bring it back with your, life, with your mouth. See, I'm bringing my life back. Back to place. Plus, back to order. Every order. Every chaos. Let there be order. Let there be order. Let everything fall in place. Instead of poverty, I receive prosperity. You still don't understand. In Jesus' name, what happened? They said, let the sun stand still over Gibeon. He told him where to stand still. Remember God had told him, no man will be able to, he didn't go and meet God again. God, oh, see, we have not yet finished the battle and the sun is going down. No, he spoke to the situation. From the earth, he was speaking to the sun. How many thousands of miles, millions of miles away is the sun from the earth? It's not, there's no distance to the spirit. When you speak a word, everything responds to you. Let the sun stand still over Gideon and the moon over the valley of Ijalon. So the sun stood still. The sun in your life will stand still. Hey, my chest, hey, hey, baba, baba. Let me pray that prayer for myself. Every sun, everything that is going down, let it stand still. In the name of Jesus. My chest, hey, baba, baba, baba. Look at it. In Jesus, look at it. Look at it. This is the reason why they said the sun should stand. The sun, the sun stood still and the moon stayed in place because a man spoke. Until the nation of Israel, see, this is the reason why he Until the nation of Israel had defeated his enemies. They could not have fought. They could have been looking. They could have not thought of it that ah, let's just be fighting in the darkness. But he knows that fighting in the dark will be, will be difficult. And his, the enemies who had there are chances that the enemies would overpower them. Is this, is this event not recorded in the, hallelujah. hallelujah. Lift your hands and bless him. Begin to decree your decrees this morning. Decree your decree. Everything that is going down, let it be resurrected. <laughs> 